Good evening, everyone. My name is Ethaskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video. I tried to find a server with only like one person in it. I found one, and Powerful Ninja Turtle and Team got in. Hi, guys! What? Oh. Smiley faces. So, um, basically, they just kind of followed me in. We're just going to be sitting here hanging out. I'm actually going to whitelist them because I trust them. Whitelist, Powerful Ninja Turtle, and Team Flash. Sorry, dude, I don't know who you are, but mm, these guys are from my past. We've done collabs and hung out before, so. Boink. Um, basically, just going to be building up some more ladders and uh, placing those ladders up there and making this thing grow. Um, a lot of you have followed me for a long time, and you know that the bridges take a while. For anybody that's new, thank you for joining, and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. A lot of you ask, um, why are you building up so high? What is the point? And tonight I will show you, um, because I don't think a lot of you know why I build like this. Whoa, that was, a, that was not where I was trying to throw it. Hold on. Why is it throwing backwards like that? I don't want to throw it backwards. I want to throw it sideways. There it goes. Sweet. Um, well, because I gotta get the door bridge up there. And if you don't know what the door bridge is, here, I will uh, I will elaborate just real quickly. Let's go. So <clears throat> this is Lumber Tycoon 2. It's uh, one of my favorite games because you can build and you can you can do all kinds of cool stuff and there's logic and Defaulty is awesome because he's eccentric and thoughtful with all of his builds. I love it. He likes puzzles. I like puzzles. Um, and he made the game. So, this is long, like, I, I fell in love with the game long before me and Defaultio were, were even, like, said hello to each other. Dude, are you wearing a cardboard box? <sighs> Anywho, uh, lower this down right there. Now a lot of you are going, what in the heck, what was that code? What just happened? This is my door bridge. <clears throat> And as you can see, the door bridge goes all the way out here. Like, what in the world? What is this? Well, I will show you. Whoa! Oh no! 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 Oh, jeez! Oh gosh! Get out, powerful ninja turtle! Run, dude! <laughs> no! <laughs> Down we go. <laughs> okay, so there's a there's a little bit of a gap there. I might need to fill that in. <laughs> um, anyhow, this is this is where we're heading. We're heading out that direction. And I've been wasting so much time not building this bridge. I'm like, you know what? I really want to build my palm shop now. And I don't want to worry about the palm bridges anymore. What is that out there? Hold on. Is there something on the island? Is anybody else seeing that? Hold on. Oh, okay, it's just a it's just a tree. I was sitting here, I'm like, what is that? Anyhow, we are getting close. I would say we're we're over halfway there, maybe. So uh back we go. Hold on, hold on. that's a great screenshot, that. That right there. That's a great screenshot. Ooh. That's that's good right there. I like that screenshot. Anyhow, back we go, and I'm just gonna build, 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 build all day, all all night. I'm just kidding. I I can't build all day and all night. I actually have to go to work and do work things. And a lot of you are like, oh gosh, code no, don't go out. Um, I work from home. Um, I don't normally work from home, but because of the quarantine, the Corona nineteen. COVID-19, whatever you want to call it. So, okay, a lot of people don't understand, like, a coronavirus doesn't just mean the COVID-19. COVID-19 is the strand that is we are worried about. That's the one that we're quarantining ourselves with. Coronaviruses just means it's a, a circular virus with um, attachments, um, proteins, or enzymes that will attach to specific cells, uh, attach to specific uh, receptors, and let itself into the cell. That's what that is. It's, it's um, you know, the one virus that looks like a little hexonical thing, and then it's got like a little rod, and then it's got like some fingers like that. That's a that's a flange virus, I think. Okay, Google. What kind of viruses are there? 
representative species of virus include Epstein-Barr virus, Middle East Respiratory Syndrome-related coronavirus, severe acute respiratory syndrome-related coronavirus, and others. But it's not showing images. Where's, uh, where's the images of the viruses? Hold on. Why am I not seeing... Oh, okay. I just, I got a message there. What was that message? Oh, hi, Michael. You would like to know my location? No. No. Everybody knows I'm in, in Springfield, Missouri. Everybody knows that. And I can, I can give that out information out. I'm okay with. Because that's also where my P.O. box is. And if you'd like to send me, uh, you know, fan mail or whatever the case may be, you can do so at this address right up here on the screen. Code Primate, P.O. Box 8004, Springfield, Missouri, 65801. That is my address. That is where you can send all your lovely letters. I will read them out loud unless you don't want me to, in which case you need to tell me inside the letter, do not read on camera or whatever the case may be. But if you'd like me to read it on, on camera, please let me know and I will. I will read it out loud for you. I give shout outs to whoever wants to. If you took the time to write me a letter, I would absolutely read it out loud and say it on camera. Um, and before I forget, okay, I know everybody's looking at me like, oh gosh, code, you're so boring. Why do you talk so much? And that's because I'm really not. You are getting older. <laughs> A lot of people are like, oh gosh, code, you're still playing lumber after five years. Yeah, it's my favorite game. This is the game that like made me famous. And this is the game that I love to play. And people are like, but it never gets updated, blah, blah, blah. I really don't care. It, it's like Mario Brothers wasn't updated. They came out with new games, right? And I still very much enjoy the original over most other games. Now, granted, I love Super Mario Brothers 3 for the Super Nintendo. No, for the original Nintendo. Super Mario Brothers 3 was like my life growing up. Super Mario Brothers 2, we don't really count because it was a it was a knockoff of a Japanese game called something else and, and the Mario franchise kind of stole it. I'm ice skating. Yes, you are. It's because I made the entire thing out of ice. So <clears throat> we're not we're not gonna discuss Mario Brothers 2, but um, whenever they came out with a new console, it was Mario Brothers 64. Super Mario World 64, right? And that's just I had a point. What was the point? The, the, I was going somewhere with this, but I've forgotten it since then because I've been talking too much. <laughs> Anyhow, um, what was I talking about? Oh, comment, down, comment down below if you remember what I was talking about. Okay, hold on. We were over there. We were driving. We were talking about viruses, and I came over here. And I was trying to look up different types of viruses, which didn't work. And then, um, oh, yeah, I lost it. Oh, well, carrying on. Um, lumber. Oh, why do I still play lumber? Because I like it. And my content, okay, I want to make this very clear. It is not intended for kids. I am not targeting children. All right. There was a big scare uh, at the beginning of the year about, oh, no, you got to declare your videos for children. No, I don't, because I'm not singing songs and trying to teach you about the ABCs. I really don't care. I don't. I, I do care. I hope you do great in school, but that's not my, my point. I don't want to teach you the alphabet. I shouldn't have to teach you the alphabet. I will teach you about programming languages, which I don't think any five-year-olds are probably getting into. But if you are a five-year-old and you want to try programming, make sure you know your ABCs. You know, that's, that would be a very good place to start before learning a programming language. Just saying. If you are an older adult, say of the ages of 50 and above, Okay, there is no problem with you playing video games and enjoying yourself. And anybody who tells you differently, you can absolutely stand up to them and say, you know what? I don't have to listen to you. I don't care what your opinion is about me playing video games. Oh, sorry. Coffee. <laughs> hmm. 
before I forget, this is this was something I have to do. To my um, little n- nephew, um, Patrick. Shout out to Patrick. Okay. I'm so glad that you're actually getting into my programming videos and you're enjoying yourself. And as soon as I get a chance, I will order um, a couple of the advanced Roblox coding books and send them out your way because I know that Jedediah and, oh gosh, what's the other name? Hang on, hang on a second. Oh gosh. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Never mind. Never mind. Ivan. Ivan. No, I don't I don't need it now. Thank you. Thank you. I was gonna go look up. No, I don't need it. Ivan. Thank you. Okay, I know that um Jedediah and Ivan don't watch as much as you do, Patrick, so huge shout out to you for, for watching me constantly and thank you for thinking that I'm an all-star. That is very special to me. <laughs> I really do appreciate it. Tabitha, thank you so much for sending me the message about uh my little cousins actually watching me and um any of my family who actually watches my videos. A huge shout out to you. Thank you. I know that we are um, not able to get together for Easter's and for um, you know the get-togethers and stuff like that. And I really do appreciate you guys like taking the time to say, "Hey, we'll extend it and we'll go to a different time," and just to get through all of this that's going on. I really do appreciate all of you guys so much, and I love you. Thank you. Okay, I'm trying to place on my my property. Why is it not allowing me? There you go. Good job, buddy. Did I not get all those moved last time? I may not have gotten them all moved. Hmm. No. He who blank. He who must not be named. <gasps> is Voldemort here? I was thinking about making some uh, some wands and some magical spells to place inside my sitting room. I think that would be phenomenally fun, you know, and like you could learn spells which would go into your wand and that that wand could be upgraded and things like that. And it'd be simple little stuff, you know, that you'd have to go and earn money to um, perform different tasks, right? Like levitation. Levitation would be amazing. Have a little wand, you click on it, it allows you to levitate, not fly, but levitate, where you could, uh, you could get up places and reach things. <laughs> I'm also thinking about like a whole bunch of different video games, but again, my ADHD is taken away with me for the last couple of days. Actually, I can't lie. It's been taken away with me for a long time. And um, I, I fear that it affects my ability to stay on task as far as programming video games that I personally want to make. And just like Super Bomberman that I displayed on my channel a couple of days ago, I've kind of hit a roadblock. Like, I don't want to program on that anymore. But I, I proved a concept, I got it to work, and now there's like this lag spike thing that happens. Maybe I should shoot a note over to Defaulty. I'll be like, dude, can you play this and just tell me where the memory leak is? Like, could you, could you give me some pointers as to why this is lagging out so bad? Because it's there's nowhere near as many objects inside here, so it's got to be one of my scripts that's doing it. And maybe I should modulize and do uh, some modular scripting over there. That would be kind of cool. Because right now I'm just I'm just doing straight uh, files, server files, local files, stuff like that. Maybe do some interfaces. <sighs> Would love to have like a main lobby where over like 200 people could go. And you can create a game, and then it would uh, it would wait for players to join, and then once everybody says start, or once the the room master says start, you'd go and play. But uh, you only have like five rounds to try and win. If you die during one of the rounds, you don't get to respawn until um, there's a winner of that round. You know, that'd be kind of cool. Oh, thank you, Maurice Morals for subscribing to the channel. I appreciate it. If you happen to subscribe while I'm playing or while I'm recording, I will shout you out. If I remember to look over there. Oh gosh, you can't see the bottom part of the the thing. Hold on. That's uh There we go. Yeah, that works. Let me just hide that PO box. Fade, 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 fade. Just like that. Send me some mail. I would love to to read some on on video. I'm not going to be able to get to my PO box for at least 
30 days because we have that lockdown in place and you're not supposed to go anywhere that is not business essential. Um, me going to the post office to receive letters is not life threatening, so I can't, I can't go to the post office for that. But I can go to the grocery store if I need uh, food for the family. That is life sustaining. Is that a football? Oh no, it's just a red ball. The perspective made me think it was a football. I'm like, when did Defaultio put footballs inside the game? That's awesome. Okay, last one. Last ladder. There we go. Oh, what are you doing down here, dude? Come on, come on. We're going up there. Okay, hold on. One more. I bet I missed every single one of those. Wait, is that on the outside? No, it's not. Okay, cool. Come here, you. There we go. Got it. You are a box. UPS shipping. <laughs> That's awesome. <sighs> Let me out before I do it myself. There. Wait, what? I don't understand. He's in the building. Hey, man, go. I will wipe your base, kid. No, you won't. No, you won't. You don't have whitelist. No YB. <laughs> he who speaks. Now, if you for some reason hold on a second. Settings. Let's uh let's throw that up there real quick. And let's just do this. Menu whitelist, because I had two people who did have whitelist. There we go. <laughs> like a boss. Uh, the most he could do is just like start spinning out and like throwing stuff all over the place. And even if he were to throw everything off this base, I still have so much stuff on all the other bases. It's okay. Uh, I'll be fine. It's it's fine. I'm I'm okay. Now, if the ladder disappears and the doors start disappearing underneath my face, then I'm going to be a little mad. <laughs> That's going to scare me a little bit because he cannot touch my base unless I whitelist him. So. <laughs> yeah, right. L local equals load dot string money. That's not how that works. It's not how that works. See the pants. Game dot players dot. Oh, gosh dot code primate dot reader stats dot money dot value equals uh, what, what is my current money? 20 mil so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 boom <laughs> I don't know if he was <laughs> watching <laughs> my actual money or not. <laughs> Powerful Ninja Turtles like, wrecked. <laughs> my money was already at 20 mil. I didn't do anything. For those of you that looked up the 20 mil, like, oh, he hacked. No, that's, <laughs> that's just how you do leader stats. Game.players.codeprimate, which is the username. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh. oh, he left. Sorry, is that a troll? Like when somebody says, I'm going to wipe your base, kid, and then I troll them, is that considered trolling? Or is that is that vendetta? Is that, is it, I don't know what it is. I don't, I don't know if that's, um, it's vindictive. I know that. That's a big word. It's a $5 word right there. 
No, 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 no! Jeez. <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> Bell again. <laughs> 20 minutes, and code finally makes it up the ladder. <laughs> oh, goodness. No, it's fine. It's fine. We're having fun. Hmm. For those of you that are still at home, Ooh, excuse me, excuse me. I had a little burpee in there that was stuck. <clears throat> For those of you that are still at home and your school has not issued you some kind of homework of uh, any kind, I am going to give you homework, okay? Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to go out to unity3d.com and get the Unity 3D um, environment, okay? You're gonna need a kind of good computer, but I mean, it does run on potatoes if you want it to. And your mission is to go create and follow the instructions for the, um, what is it? John Lemon Haunted, Haunted House. John Lemon Haunted House. Follow those instructions. I'm actually going to do another video, which is going to be the free uh, software Fridays because everyone who was at uh, PAX East, everyone who is a game developer knows what Unity 3D is. It is also for modeling. It is for 3D. It is for sculpting. It is for uh, animations. And most of all, it's for video games. The reason I enjoy it so much and the reason that I want to switch to it, the reason I'm going through the tutorials is because I want to learn it. And it's supported by C Sharp. Um, it used to be Mono, which was a free version of the .NET framework, but then Microsoft came in and said, hey, we'll actually give you the environment and, and make them mesh together. Microsoft, all right, I don't like talking big, like, I don't like talking well about corporations. Okay, because Microsoft over the past years, many years, has made many mistakes. Okay, and I'm talking directly to Microsoft. Another thing that I um, have a little bit of a problem with is the Roblox Star program. I know a lot of people are like, oh, Roblox didn't give it to him. Roblox didn't give him the, the Xbox One S. And I'm not jealous. I have an Xbox. I'm fine. If I wanted an Xbox S, I, I can go and get it. But you sent out all of these Xboxes, Microsoft did. And people are like, don't think Roblox, think Microsoft. But if you look at the label, it's an Xbox with Roblox stuff tied to it. A lot of people got mad at that. That, oh, why do Roblox YouTubers in the Star program, why do they get special treatment? Blah, 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 blah. Shut up. Sorry. I hate to say it this way, shut up, because they're bo both huge corporations and they are making lots of money, especially to promote their product. And I bet you a hundred to one, Roblox got a pretty sweet deal out of it. But if you think about it, the console, all right, is not Roblox driven. It is everyone driven. And now it is bundled with Roblox which gives Roblox this huge, huge boost. Xbox comes in and they look, hey, family friendly. We want to give, you know, a bigger dynamic by um, targeting kids. There's no, there's no way around it. You're targeting kids. That's what Roblox is and everybody knows it. All right, hands down, you can say whatever you like. Roblox is targeted at kids. Okay, and I know that it's a development environment and everyone else knows that it's a development environment and I'm just going off on a rant right now and I can't seem to stop. <laughs> so, leave them alone. Microsoft, Roblox, you made a, a, a tight promotion going on. What I'm mad about is that people are saying, don't think Roblox for giving the Xbox to the Roblox stars. But if you think about it, how did Microsoft, how did Microsoft send these Xboxes to the Roblox people, to, to the Roblox stars? They got the list from Roblox. 
So the people that were mad that uh, Roblox wasn't getting credit, uh, I'm mad at you. I'm mad at you because you're not seeing this huge picture of like how two corporations came together and made this huge product and you can look at it from both sides. You can be like, oh, it's the corporate uh, uh, entity, blah, 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 blah. Stand up for the little people and fight for free software, blah, blah, blah. Okay, great, that's one side. You can also look at it from the corporation side and say, hey, this is a really good promotional idea and we are expanding our dynamic and we're making a relationship with a huge company whose entire dynamic is geared towards kids. That is a huge power move on both sides. So for my piece of the information, I'm a little jealous that I'm not part of the Roblox Star program, but not because I didn't get an X or Xbox. It's because I've been doing uh, Roblox for a really long time, and I, I was really upset whenever I've been asking for the past 12, 13, 14 months. I was asking before they set any kind of standards to it. I was doing like all kinds of things to try and get the attention of Terraris and the, the other people that were part of the program to start with. And nobody, nobody cares because I don't make 25,000 average views per Roblox video. But you know what I do do? <laughs> do you know what I do do? <laughs> I do make family friendly content. I give you a perspective as to what it's like to be uh, an adult with ADHD who plays Roblox, who loves the game and wants to show kids, parents, adults and grandparents the joy of gaming and how to create the games that's what i want to do so yeah am i jealous of it yeah a little bit do i really care not really i've reached a hundred thousand subscribers on youtube big flex mm. big money that's that's mm. do i get paid a lot of money no not at all in fact, I'm probably the lowest bracket of income for YouTubers there are, but I'm okay with that. Um, I wrote a book about programming that my name is on a book that is published at Barnes and Noble, that is published by Adams Media, Simon & Schuster. It's a huge company. That's a flex. I don't need the Roblox Star program, okay? So Rod, uh, is it Rod or Rob? Rob B. Whoever the guy is that's in charge of it, and he's got a whole bunch of daughters, and they, they posted some Christmas stuff a long time ago, and I've actually tweeted to him a couple times, but he doesn't answer me back. I don't know why. Uh, he probably should answer me back. I am a bit of a power, but I don't have that much influence. Anyhow. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I just, like, screamed into the microphone. <sighs> so now that everybody's just standing around me, <laughs> uh, what should we do? Keep building? Yeah, let's keep building. Mm, we're at 28 minutes right now, but you know what? I'm going to keep going. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to keep on building. And I didn't move the rest of these up here, did I? That was bad on my part. I should have moved these up, but I didn't. That means I'm gonna have to move everything twice. Oh, down, then up. Hi, Sonic. How do I like your new look? I love it. Oh wait, Bob's asking. Wait, where's Bob at? I think he was the one with the big wings, right? I, I think you were. No, you're the one with the green wings. Hi, Bob. Hold on, let's take a look at you. Oh my gosh, dude. All zeros and ones, you're binary. <laughs> so on Sanders, Thomas Sanders, he says, uh, all non-binary friends, right? And I'm like, hmm, that's that's the whole I, like sex identity thing. Well, I'm a boy and I... I, I feel like a girl and stuff like that. Not going to get into it. Don't care. Um, but binary. Whenever somebody says I'm non-binary, that's like I'm not a zero or a one. I'm like, you do realize that you have like 32 or 20, 26 chromosomes or something like that. 
and like each one has a pair. <laughs> In fact, your uh, was ATGC. You have um, two pairs of chromosome types that will um, mesh together to create code that creates your body that creates you. So technically, you are programming, <laughs> and that's that's reality. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I don't claim to know the whole LGBT community. Uh, I am absolutely willing to accept it, just as long as you're willing to accept my reality as well, you know. And I don't. I don't have to. As long as you're not having to force me to accept your reality, then I'm. I'm fine with it. I'm okay. I know. Um, one. One thing that has made me mad, that has made me a little upset, is. How many YouTubers, how many YouTube stars, how many influencers force that idea, ideological um, worldview into people's face? And don't get me wrong, I've said this before and I'll say it again. If you're offended by something that I say, then be offended. That's absolutely fine. If you get offended because of something I said, and you run off to the cops and say, he offended me. They're not gonna do anything because it's not hurting you one bit for anything that anybody says on the internet. Why are there so many internet trolls in the comment section of videos? I have no clue. Why did they have, um, during the, the Corona um, live stream today about um, the quarantine and everything else, they had live stream on and People were allowed to chat and comment, and they're just mean, so mean. The internet is not a nice place. I wish it were, and it's not. <sighs> like I always say, be nice. Even my comment section right now, you could probably go down there and look, and there's probably a mean comment. And if you want to, uh, if somebody asks a question down in my comment section, you can absolutely, absolutely answer their questions for them if you want. I have no problem with other people answering questions inside the comments. You can do that. Go for it. If somebody asks a question and you know the answer to it because you've been watching me for the last five years or you're a super fan and you know all, answer it. It's cool. I don't mind. And if somebody says first, and it's obvious that they're like the 15th or 27th person to, or the 200th person to comment, don't correct them. Say, good job. If they want to be first in their thousandth comment, which I never get a thousand comments, but if they are, leave them alone. I'm absolutely okay with them saying first. Doesn't hurt anybody. Hmm. And to Patrick, Ivan, and Jedediah, just know that I love you guys. And if there's anything that you absolutely need, give uh, have your mom give uh, my wife a call, and I will get you guys hooked up. That's with uh, if you ever have any computer problems or any programming questions, stuff like that. I can absolutely dial in. I can remote into people's machines remotely and fix things up. That's what I used to do. That's what I still do what people think that I do so a lot of people still think that I'm like straight up help desk I'm not I help people who call in um, but I don't I'm not like in the rotation for taking on call I don't have a, a direct line that goes to my uh, phone because of a help desk line stuff like that I still very much um, know a lot of the stuff that needs to be done, but I have found I don't have time to unjam somebody's printer. I've got projects that I've got to get programmed. I've got um, time schedules and, and meetings that I have to discuss. And because what I am is I am an application development analyst. Basically, I come into somebody's job and I look exactly at what they're doing. Or somebody comes to me with a problem and says, hey, I'm spending three hours doing these data sheets or um, TPR reports or, <laughs> sorry, that's an office space joke. And I make it efficient where, okay, can I 
program this to automatically go and find the data that you're looking for anyway. And then when there's a problem, how does that affect what you do? How, how do we correct it when it goes wrong? And I sit down and I come up with a plan. Um, I have been programming web interface applications for a really long time. Uh, mostly it's database driven. It's all uh, workflows and making stuff happen. So like when somebody comes into one of the stores and there's paperwork to, ooh, there's paperwork that you'd normally print out PDF form and um, you'd have the customer or the whoever fill out the form. That form usually gets delivered to someone who keys it into a database, who takes that piece of paper, archives it, signs it, and sends it on its way to the next person who uh, then has to sign it, which either gets approval or doesn't get approval, whatever the case may be. And there's this long paper trail that could take a week or so to go from one person to the next. And I shorten it down to a web interface where somebody on their iPad can come in type out, fill out the information, sign it, and then it instantly goes into somebody's inbox and it awaits approval. And the moment that it's approved, um, the person that created it knows whether it was approved or it wasn't approved and if they can correct it and send it back. Anyhow, I build those things from ground up. Literally, they handed me a, a, a database, an SQL database, and I created the uh, the tables and I create the the types for each one of the the data entries so if you've ever played with Excel imagine SQL like a very powerful Excel sheet that's straight data that's what it does um, and there's no easy button for anything you have to know the programming behind it I mean there's there's a couple of easy button programs out there but I mean nothing that does what I do I mean, there's lots of people that do what I do, but that's just because uh, there's such a high demand for it. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. Oh, boop, boop. He needs your help to motivate. <laughs> Anyhow, go code go. <laughs> I think I've uh, I've built plenty of. Um, of scaffolds here and we're at 37 minutes and I still need to go do unity for you guys so you can get to get your awesome um, game created so you can start making your own video games go make your own Roblox you know make your own studio to create games like this anyhow I hope I've been a mo motivational mess for the last 37 40 minutes and I hope that you're having a great Friday um, I know that we've been cooped up inside. Stay inside until the virus is, is passed and until we've gotten through everything. Just stay inside, wash your hands, um, keep safe. And uh, that's about it. If this was your first video that you've ever seen of me, uh, thank you for sticking around this long and thank you for watching it up until this minute. What is it? What is it? 38 minutes and 37 seconds. So 3837 is uh, the code to place inside the comments if you happen to still be here. If you want, it's your choice. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos, but remember that's just a call to action. You don't actually have to do anything that I say. It's just something that YouTube says that I should do. So you um, are more interested and more inclined to go click the like button or click the sub button if you want. I really don't care, you were here, you watched. I love you for that, thank you. That's all I ever deserved, that's all I've ever asked. Just watch. Love you guys very much. Have a great night, and we will talk to you, Betty. Zoo. <gasps> outro. Oh, that was a horrible outro, I'm so sorry. Outro, outro. I can't get low. Get, get low. Hmm. Steven, Steven, where's my voice? Steven. Steven. Oh, quarantine. He's uh, He couldn't come in because he's got to stay at the house. I'll give him a call afterwards. Outro. <laughs>